Oh hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Kobe Scroby and welcome back to Tell Me Why. Thanks so much for coming to hang out with me tonight. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoy the stream, make sure you follow, turn on notifications, and if you'd like to support the channel, avoid the ads, and you'd also be welcome to join my private satisfactory server and come play with us. We just played last night. You can subscribe for $5 or you can subscribe for free with a Twitch Prime. The way you get a Twitch Prime is if you connect an Amazon Prime account, doesn't have to be your Amazon Prime account, to your Twitch account, this will give you one free Prime subscription per month. You can choose to use it here. Or if you're lucky, maybe you can get gifted a sub. If you're watching later on YouTube you could use and you want to join the server, you could use the YouTube join button or the Patreon link in the description. If you do any of those things, make sure you look in the YouTube description or pinned in the Twitch chat, there's a link to my Discord. Message me on there, I'll get you the server information, get you logged in, and we'll schedule time to come play with you. We normally play on Wednesday, but it doesn't have to be Wednesday. We can always switch it up. So. It's Thursday. Last night I played uh, Satisfactory on the server for a while. And then I saw that Amnesia the Bunker was out and they had a free demo. So we played the free demo. It was pretty good. It, they actually did like, uh, I think, a little bit of a unique different type thing to the first person horror games that was very it was very stressful so uh i i think that and they kept the stress on so i think it was very good and i'm actually i would very much like to play it i did just get i bought some games last night they're on sale they've been on my wish list for a while Oh, this one was uh, a gift from VT that was on my uh, wish list. Crossroads Inn. Yes, it was a good year. So we're going to have to take a look at this and one someday. No. Uh, what else did I get? So I got Decay the Mare. This game was literally 69 cents. So I got it. 69 cents. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what it is I think it's some type well I played the Dalek Entertainment games before and I like them a lot so I got this one it seems to be a horror game ooh a worm so I'm not exactly sure what's going on there there were some things that looked like puzzles but I'm not exactly sure what type of game it is but it cost 69 cents so I bought it it's not us what's going on Donald Trump Indicted for illegally keeping classified documents. Yeah, I, I heard that. I actually listened to Hassan today. Oh. Wait. Oh, I thought this was the... Uh, I thought this was the puzzle game. So this one's interesting. I'm just showing off all the, the games that I bought last night. The one I just showed was 69 cents. This one... I think it was only like two or three. Well, you have to quit this. It's unhealthy. She's close. What's going on with you? I think this is a puzzle game. It sure looks like a Mustang right there. I think you get this and you have to you have to figure out how to get through the level? I'm not exactly sure. But it looked pretty cool. So I got it. It's not on sale anymore, so it's 12 bucks now. I didn't pay 12 bucks for it. Nothing much. Had therapy, and that's about it. Me too. I just got done. <laughs> I ended up I ended up getting the killer frequency one. Rated T. I kept looking at it on my wish list and it was on sale. I was like, ah, uh, you know what? I was like, I got, I got some money. I'm just going to get it. So this is the one where you're like a talk show host on the radio. It's the whistling man. And there's like what a serial the killer hell? going around and people are calling in. So I got that one. Uh, oh, Evil Nun. This one is made by the guy that made uh, Horror Tales The Wine. And he was supposed to come out with Horror Tales the Astronaut like months ago. And it got to its release date and it never came out. So he's made this one and I saw it had very positive and overwhelmingly positive reviews. 
and it looks like it might be fun. So I ended up getting it. Um, what else did I get? Oh, Contraband Police was on sale, so I picked that up. Black Mirror? I forgot what this one was about. Oh, I want gameplay. Is that this the gameplay one? This is like a third person, kind of like an old school Resident Evil style. Yeah, like this. Which reminded me, I need to play Them and Us. I've had that for so long, I forgot about it. Yeah, so this is kind of like a fixed camera, third person type horror game. Anyway, so all these games, except for Killer Frequency, all of them were like $3 or something. So I picked up a bunch of games. I don't know if you were here yet, Dishonest. VT got me this game. It was $3. It was on sale on my wish list. It's been on my wish list for years. I think you just have to run. Oh, what the hell just happened? Uh-oh, I see. Oh, she's not even naked. She's got hearts on. So I think you just have to run an inn, like a, a old school inn tavern. What? That was a naked butt. What's going on? That? Oh, it's the bathhouse. <laughs> Why is there so much poop on the floor? Everybody's just walking around naked. Yes, it was a good year for us and join us in the Anyway, so VT gifted that to me today. Okay, so I got all those games. We got to play them all. 30 minutes ago, it was sunny. We stepped outside and it's pouring down rain with lightning and thunder. Dude, that's kind of how the weather works here. It'll be like perfectly sunny and then it'll just dump and hail and destroy people's cars for like three minutes and then it'll be gone and completely sunny again. I, I, it'll happen like that in the winter too. It'll be actually really nice and sunny and then it'll snow and then like blizzard and then the next day it'll be 70 degrees again. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Never rained here in June since I've been here. Been alive. Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, there lived a pair of crafty goblins. The crafty goblins did everything together. Until one day, when darkness overwhelmed the big wooden house in which they lived. So this is them and their mom, the goblins and the princess. Blamed for the darkness, Brother Goblin was forced to leave the forest, while his sister had to stay behind. He had to go to juvenile detention for killing his mom. Which we found out is not the case Ten at the end of the later, last episode. They were finally reunited, and together they decided to confront the darkness in the big wooden house. And now they're back together, back at their mom's house. Though they sought the help of their friends in the forest, they found that no one wanted to delve into the long gone past. This no is one's... how the goblins found themselves alone Ooh, in the woods, look in the back. trying to discover why darkness had submerged the big wooden house. So we found out at the end of the last episode. So we're just starting episode two of the game right now, even though this is my episode four. We're on episode 2-1. <laughs> so, the end of the last one, we found out. So, the, the story so far has always been the mom was coming at Tyler for cutting his hair with a gun, and she was going to shoot him. And then we found out that she did have the gun. She kind of walked after him. And then Allison stabbed her in the back, and she fell off the dock into the water. And died. So Tyler took the blame for killing their mom, even though Allison actually did it. Oh, 
Oh, are we gonna see again? Yeah, she just stabbed her, I think. <laughs> Tomorrow we should play Compass and North Star in the woods. Be sure to wear your hat then. <laughs> you be sure to wear your hat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, who wants ice cream? Me! Eat up. That's a lot of ice cream. <laughs> Without a word, she went out and buried the tiara in the ground beneath the sapling. And as the final scoop of dirt fell, the tiara felt truly gone. And with it, the final link to her old self. She could only go forward and find a new place for herself in this world. Where she was no longer truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown, but a wan woman, alone in a deep and ancient wood. A wan woman? And that was how the princess lost her most hey, precious treasure. And her title. I don't like that story. There were no goblins, and it was- So the one on the right is Ollie, who is Tyler. And then the kid on the left is Allison. Depressing. We won't read it again. I love you, Mom. Not me. <laughs> Just kidding. Love you, Mom. I love you, too. Sleep well and dream, my doves. Yeah, right. Twins are never going to go to bed. <laughs> Ollie? Oh, okay. So what's happening is Allison just cut Ollie Tyler's hair, and he ran out to find his mom and show her his hair. Ollie? not the ice cream, is it? What a waste. It is. Yeah, you can drink it now. <laughs> Allison! Ollie! Allison, help! She grabbed the scissors. Going after him with the shotgun. Oh. Allison stabbed her in the back with the scissors and she fell off the dock. Oh, we're not quite there yet. Wait, wait, wait. Oh no, she just did. She just did stab her. And she fell in the water. Chapter two, family secrets. Yeah, I was just showing uh, all the games I got the the Crossroads Inn that you got me. And then I actually ended up buying a few games last night that were on sale. So I got even more we got to try to get to. At, on the insides of the steps? That's weird. Yeah, the rods on every step? Supposed to hold the carpet? Maybe it's supposed to hold the carpet down. I 
ain't no jumping on the couch. Dude, I would keep that house. It's awesome. Or maybe rent it? I don't know. Watch out. Bam. <laughs> Raising your tra transgender child. Hey. You doing all right? I thought coming here would be closing a chapter of our lives, you know? And instead we've spun off a whole miserable prequel trilogy. Okay. No. We're not letting ourselves do this again. Come on. Up. My numbing labor's a great way to forget your troubles. Uh, can't we just have coffee instead? No. On your feet, soldier. Let's take a break from packing and sort out the furniture. Mm. If we get enough done, I'll drive you into town and buy you a gallon of ice cream. Mint chocolate chip, two gallons. Let's do Whoa. this. <laughs> Trash. Goblin face is keep. Dollar sign is donate or sell, and trash can as well. Trash. By the way, I cleared out most of the stuff from the bathroom this morning, but I left you the toilet. How very generous of you. Everywhere I look, there's just stuff, stuff, and more stuff. Mary and the magpie. So we're finding Hello, out- Hello, ancient broken down machines. That will be the future owner's problem. If we're getting rid of stuff, keeping, selling, keeping, or trash, trash. Who's the girl in the water? We don't really want to keep anything in here, right? And who's that guy? Thanks for clearing out those cabinets. Not my pleasure. Oh, ew, ew, ew. Raven Sarah. Oh, God. I can still taste it. Put it away. Ugh. What is it? Raven something? Raven Seraph? Raven's breath? That's not what she said. Raven Sarah? I 
essential oil. One of the strongest antiviral oils. It is excellent in fighting against viral infections and is especially used to relieve colds and coughs as well as for problems and <clears throat> infections of the respiratory system and other ailments. Provides excellent immune system, immune support during flu epidemics. Oh man, well that would have been nice to know. I wonder what it smells like. What does Raven Sarah smell like? Obtained by distilling the leaves, it has fresh, clean eucalyptus scent with mild peppery notes. The aroma is refreshing and energizing. Huh. So what I'm guessing is going on is their mom used to use it on them all the time, like when they were sick. <clears throat> and it has like a PTSD memory of the smell or taste of it. <clears throat> like... I don't know. I'm sure you guys can think of something that when you were little, your parents used to give you all the time when you were sick or something. You know what my mom used to, to give me? It's not a bad taste or anything, but when I was sick, she would give me a Sprite. But it has to have been opened and the carbonation gone. So, I, it's supposed to settle your stomach? Wait, let me, actually, let me look that up. <laughs> Why give a child a Sprite when they're sick? The quick and popular remedy, usually in the form of cola, ginger ale, or clear sodas, it is said to help settle the stomach with its slight fizz and replenish fluids and glucose lost by vomiting and diarrhea. Sprite? Sprite good for sick kids? Get plenty of rest. Drink at least two liters each day of liquids. Such as non-diet 7-Up Sprite Gatorade Ginger Ale Broth Tea with Sugar. Soda Pop is okay with flu or cold. What the hell? Why? Why does Sprite? Although it may seem counterintuitive to drink soda when you are not feeling well, a small glass of Sprite can do wonders for your upset stomach. The sugar and lemon-lime flavoring can nourish your stomach so it can relax. The light carbonation and Sprite can soothe your stomach when you're not feeling well. So weird. Why is that? I took a screenshot. I meant to show that to Laura. All right. Anyway, that's what I used to get. Say ah. Uh, ah. Uh, I remember cutting off shaving cream beards with these. Oh, yeah. What is it? Oh, they're um, tongue depressors. Dang, look at that real-time reflection. So am I supposed to sticky Thanks note this? Thanks for clearing out those cabinets. Not my pleasure. Okay. Sticky note the door. Is that it? What am I supposed to do? All right. Let's go over here. Here, this is what I was talking about. The rods on each stair. I guess it's to hold the carpet so you don't step on the carpet and have it slip. Never seen those before. See, this is what I was talking about the other night. All of these games that I play that have recipes, I should take them down and make them. Or maybe make them with Laura and try them. There was some in... Uh, Ghost on the Shore. There's always recipes in these games, and I've never made one. Here, I'm going to take another screenshot. Dump in Cake. Oh, I thought that was the name of it at first. Yeah, that would be cool. Um, I should go back and get the ones from 
ghost on the shore. All right, I took screenshots of that. Ancient appliances, you are staying here. Although, that oven looks in okay enough shape. No way. We are not moving the oven. The problem is we're going to have to alter it. Like a cake, for example, has flour, and I can't have flour because flour has gluten. So we would have to alter it slightly, which shouldn't actually affect the taste of it. It'll just... Gluten-free stuff has a tendency to be crumbly or fall apart. Like, for example, tortillas. Flour tortillas, you can roll up a burrito and it holds together pretty well. Gluten-free tortilla, if you roll it up, the second you try to pick it up, it's falling apart. Actually, I have a gluten-free tortilla left that's made out of Parmesan cheese. It's Parmesan cheese, but it's a tortilla. And it's delicious, and it works really well, except when you put hot food in there, it likes to melt. <laughs> You hungry? Ketchup? We have a whole lot of nothing. You got ketchup? Uh, I was hoping maybe you could make me one of those pickle and ketchup sandwiches. I'm sorry, sir. We are all out of pickles today. Could I interest you in a ketchup only sandwich? Yeah. Looks like there's still a bottle back here. Uh, ew. Says the guy who used to eat peanut butter with ranch. Mm -mm. Mm. So good. No, I don't want ketchup that's been in there for 10 years. <laughs> hmm. Crummy table and wobbly chairs. So. We can make some pretty good money if we sell this. And I know I'd end up eating on the couch most of the time anyway. You're probably going to get like 10 bucks maybe for the table oh. with the chairs. Oh, God. That's... What's that smell? Hold on, I don't want to do those yet. I want to continue looking around first. This is why it's going to take me so long. It's because I want to do all the stuff. There's something. Ugh, gross stain is gross. Uh, what happened? Some unfortunate spillage that brought about the end of indoor tea parties. I hid the stain with my toys, forgetting that they would eventually be picked up. Brilliant move, <laughs> Ronan. Well, I seem to recall a time you stole an egg, put it on the couch, and sat on it because you wanted a pet chicken. <laughs> we don't talk about that. Uh-huh. Well, at least I didn't leave a stain. I guess it's finally time to take these pictures down. Yeah, still deciding what to do with them. I mean, most of them are pretty happy memories. There's kids I in the guess. bathtub. You look cute here. That's not me. I mean, it is, but. I want to say, but what, just to see what he's going to say. But not really. I get it. It's just weird seeing myself like that again. Damn. Didn't think a picture could throw me like this anymore. Has therapy helped at all? Oh, yeah, definitely. My therapist really heard me when I said I was a guy. And she helped me get ready for the reactions I'd get, you know? It's dealing with other people that's been way harder than figuring myself out. At the end of the day, being able to look in the mirror and see Tyler, that's made the biggest difference. Which is why I'm scheduling my top surgery as soon as we sell this house. No more oh. putting a binder on every morning. God, that sounds fucking amazing. Yeah, totally. Just was... so you know, I'll be there to help out when you do. Whatever you need. Thanks. That thought actually crossed my mind because for a second I thought they were 17, but then I remembered it's been 10 years, so they're 20. So I'm like, he could have had surgery. But then Allison compared to him, I was like, he either had the surgery or is wearing a binder. If you don't know what a binder is, it's like, 
it's not a bra. It's like a really tight cloth that I heard somebody coming that um, I don't know either lesbians or trans men can put on that will smash your boobs in so they can't it doesn't look like looks like they're not there or at least way way smaller so he's actually wearing a binder I mean all well, right looks like a guy what's your verdict Ronan <laughs> you know what I'll keep a few to remind us how far we've come who's that guy it's a big fish Oh, man. I love this one. <laughs> Why do I look so pissed? I remember loving this. Maybe because Marianne was sticking a camera in your face? Come on. Like Alex. Come on, honey. Smile like Allison, she says. <laughs> I completely forgot we had a pet vole for a few days. Poor volcano. A pet vole? She was in rough shape when we found her. Good thing Marianne actually knew what she was doing with injured wildlife. So a vole is like, it's kind of like a mole, but smaller, like the size of a, like the size of a mouse, maybe a bit bigger. Lasagna, lasagna. Finish your salad first. Thank you. Did she just smell her hand? <laughs> Worry about it. They're just leftovers from the restaurant. What about Volcano? She needs to eat her lunch too. Oh, this quite is right, though. Tessa. She brought them food she from the restaurant. <laughs> Here you go, little one. You must be hungry too. <laughs> Tessa really did keep us all fed. She always tried to take care of everyone. Still does, I guess. Hey! What's this doing down here? Is that gum? Ugh. I guess that was probably me. Goblins were here. Got a new collectible. Did we do Ice King? The Ice King is the lord of the whole forest. He is so powerful that no one dares to challenge his commands. I think we did. This is the a new one. The big frog is an effervescent creature who tries to be kind, but is also a tireless gossip. The Ice King punished her once by telling her his deepest secret. If she ever tells anyone, she'll lose her voice forever. Effervescent? Doesn't that mean bubbly, like carbonated? Maybe, okay, bubbly, happy, I suppose. Maybe, I don't know. What to do with this? Maybe someone would be willing to refinish it. What else we got? That's a nice vase. I wonder if my horse figurine is still in there. Your what now? You know, my blue toy horse. With the kind of melted face. The one you stole from me. What? That never happened. Yeah, it did. I won it at that little Halloween carnival they had at the school every year. You grabbed it and hid it in the pot. Then when I tried to get it back, you said there was a snake inside too. Yeah. Whatever you say, horse face. We have the same face. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that fire being up so high like that. Hmm. Come on, honey, smile like Allison. Oh, this Hold is the fish. fish. It's not my fish anymore. Allison stole it.
My sister, the fish thief. <laughs> you were just being bratty. Was I though? Yes, all I did was help clean it when we were out on the porch. Eddie had to force you to share. Allison, I asked you to clean up the coffee table three times already. <laughs> Oops, I forgot. Do it yourself. All right, I'll clean it up. Thanks. While you do that, I'll check out the furniture. It was a little. I'm guessing you want to keep the coffee table. If there's anything you want, speak now. I'm not really planning on bringing furniture to Denali. And if I need a base in Juno, you'll have all the furniture I need. How very non-committal of you. All right, I'll keep it. I really like that armchair. <laughs> For your forest shack? You like the smell of... Oh, uh, on shit. second thought, never mind. Maybe it'll be salvageable with a deep clean? Are you gonna keep doing that? Yeah? This is the best thing ever made. Yes, you are. And finally. I hate to say it, but the couches get a one-way ticket to the dump. No protest here. I think I have permanent knee damage from a decade of bumping into the corner of those damn things. Well, then that's it for the living room. You are relieved from your duties. Let me do it again. <laughs> Having fun, are we? Yes. This is the best part of the this game. This is getting utterly ridiculous. I wonder if I'll get an achievement if I keep doing it. <laughs> I wasn't counting how many times I've done it, though. All right. Yes. I that is pretty funny. Mood changer. I got an achievement. Awesome. <laughs> You're so good at cleaning the table. What else? Is that it? Ooh, I can turn this thing into a terrarium. What about this? Anything else here? Mood changer. M O O apostrophe D was the achievement. Oh, wait, what? Eddie, now. Take your time. He's not going to jump up and do the cha cha. That's Eddie, the police what about chief. Me? I want to clean the fish, too. It's not even your fish. You didn't catch anything. Ugh. Only because you wouldn't stop talking and scared all the fish away. Keep your eyes on what you're doing. Allison, when we're done with this half, you can take over and do the other one. That sound fair? Yes. Mm -mm. You're right. I was kind of being a brat. Smells like delicious garbage. Ooh, yes, delicious indeed. <laughs> or could it be Stinky Pants Sam? <laughs> oh, Stinky Pants Sam! <laughs> Come on now. Sam got that smell getting a skunk out of our barn. Oh. Be nice. <gasps> a skunk? What did you do to her? Is she okay? <laughs> sure is. She just went hunting for food and couldn't get back out. All she needed was a little nudge to get her on her way. Sam Kansky, hero of skunk kind. I remember being super impressed by him, and it made me want to be a wild animal superhero too. You guys ever been close to a skunk? Like, not that you can just smell it, but like right up, right up close to it. 
It's so bad that it kind of burns. We had like we would have dogs uh, when I lived on the farm. And the dog would sometimes find a dead animal and roll around on it. And I, maybe I don't know if he rolled on the and skunk or got too know. close, but more stuff. The dog's been sprayed by skunks before. Ooh, ball. Ball. I want to get that paper What's airplane. Soft? There's a paper plane stuck in the ceiling light. Maybe it has a secret message from our past selves. Find something to knock it down. Hmm. There's a ball. I could use that ball. It's too far. Forget it. I don't want to break something. Boring. Wait, I was just going to get the ball. Hey, Tyler. Pays for horses, Allison. <laughs> it drove me so crazy when Marianne said that. Okay, let's see if I can still do this. Five bucks says you miss. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Ow. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> I win. Pay up. Oh, shut up. I want to get the paper airplane. Wait, did I just screw that up? I didn't know she was going to hit him with it. Ugh. Damn it. Those paddles are pretty cool. Dibs. Baloney. <laughs> Guess airplane. who I found? Baloney. Alley belly baloney? Why, yes. I would love to have a tea party with you. Again. For the third time today. We should gather up all... Hey. Did you finish packing upstairs? Nope. There's way too much junk to sort through. Can I go get the ball? I want to get the paper airplane. Let's see if I can get the ball. Ball. Get the ball. Hey, Allison. Come take a break with me. Wait. I just want the ball. Why can't... Uh, hold on. I'm not done upstairs. Can't get the ball. This sucks. I want to know what's in the paper airplane. Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. Hey, Tyler. How does five little monkeys go again? Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell down and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor. The doctor said no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Ugh, I'm having a drinking problem. <coughs> it's the second time I choked on my water <coughs> in like 10 minutes. <coughs> I don't know why. No more monkeys jumping on the bed. <laughs> or out of a tree. Don't say that. Mama's gonna be so mad you had to go to the hospital. She worries way too much about what people think. Everything okay up there? Yeah. When's mom coming? She'll home? be here soon. Oh, it's Tessa. Is anyone hungry? No, I'm okay. Thank you. God. You scared me to death when you fell out of that tree. I cried most of the way to Tessa's house. It was kind of exciting going to the hospital, but the part after that with Marianne, that was less fun. I remember the look that Tessa gave her when she finally came home. If looks could kill, right? Yeah. And Marianne was a mess. This is cool. Can't look at that. <sighs> Will this ever stop feeling so weird? Congratulations. You found the map that will lead you on with no mishap. Follow my trails of twinkling stones, and perchance you'll escape the unknown.
Wait, is this actually something I can do? I can't go very far. Maybe not. Maybe. Maybe there's something hidden in the game. So long, trusty bunk beds. Wow, this thing needs some paint. Dearest Ollie, how are you? Ollie is Tyler. I'm in the boathouse and everything is going very well. I am writing this letter to formally invite you to my tea party. I will prepare tea and cookies and you can meet my dearest friend, Baloney, who I know you will love. Please come this afternoon at 4 p.m. Kind regards, Allison. Dear Allison, thanks so much for the invite. Everything is good here too. No beavers in sight though. I will be there at 4.15 because I need to make sure to feed the birds and or mom will go crazy. See you soon, Sir Ollie. So there is a secret to this house. I'll just tell you that. There's a secret to this house that we will find towards the end of the of next chapter, next episode. Uh, I'll just tell you that. To Ollie from Allison, others may not understand the laughs we have together and love we share for each other, but I know whatever happens, every goblin has a twin. I love you. Happy sibling day. So there's another sh really short game that I've been wanting to play. I actually have it installed. It's called Marie's Room. And it's like a room and you just go around and look at stuff. And the things that you find tells the story as you go. I think it's like an hour game, maybe, depending on how slow you read. So it'll probably take me two hours. Played it many, many years ago. So, you gonna come back down to help me or what? Damn it. I didn't mean to hit him with the ball. I want that airplane. Ever since I first saw it. Hey, clean freak. You want coffee? Starting the fire again? Yeah, I'm gonna boil some water. You want something to drink? Is there no gas to the stove? Would you rather have instant coffee or instant coffee? Hmm, nah, sorry. I'm more of a tea person. Get it? Tea? Ha. As in... Mm -hmm. ha -ha. How long have you been waiting to make that joke? Longer than I'm willing to admit. <laughs> I am so glad Eddie came through on the caffeine. Shh, did you hear that? <gasps> the Ice King is sending us a warning. Better do next episode tonight. I hate cliffhangers. So this is just the beginning of episode two. So this is going to take me two or three streams to get done with. And then there's a chapter three which will probably take two or three streams. So we're still a ways off from that. From that. Zaylin, what's going on? Did you see the game I put in game suggestions? Gives me Heavy Kingdom 2 Crowns vibes. I, I did, and I actually saw that. I was watching, I was listening to Hassan's stream today, and he was watching the game, Summer Game, whatever it's called. So I actually did see that one, and it, it looks interesting. Um, I didn't click on it though, so I don't know when it comes out. I did buy some games last night though, too. For your punishment, said the Ice King, you shall be banished from the forest. And if you dare come back before the new moon, you shall feel my anger in your gut. Hear it in the wind. Whoosh! <laughs> huh. Do you think the Ice King would really react that way? He may be intimidating, but he's always fair and never mean. Oh, yeah. Y you're right. Maybe he tells the goblins to help the people they hurt instead? Great idea, sweetie. Why don't we think about it at dinner? I'll put everything away for safekeeping while you go wash your hands. Can you put them in the binder so they don't get stained? Of course, love. I still think my dark and twisty version was better. 
We put so many hours into that book. Yeah. Our binder was full of extra drawings and incomplete stories. I think they're all still in the kitchen drawer. We should go take a look. Getting Ellen Wake 2 announcement was a major surprise along with GP. Uh, what's GP? <laughs> Here, let me, uh, yeah. Ellen Wake looks like it's going to be kind of like Resident Evil 4, I suppose. Uh, what was that one called? Yes. Your Grace. Oh. Wait, is it out? Oh, gameplay. <laughs> I thought you were talking about another game. Yeah. So yeah, I'm definitely going to get Alan Wake in October when it comes out. So we'll be playing horror games all month anyway. Yeah, this looks <laughs> this looks interesting. Yes, your grace. These are troubling times. Your grace, the petitioners, petty matters exceed our limited resources to say nothing of the war, a careful balance. You know what else that kind of, oh, like not for broadcast. What else uh, it kind of reminds me of, uh, oh shoot, what's it called? I forgot the name now. It's like, it's like you get two cards, but you have to keep the people, the church, the money balanced. If one gets all the way full or all the way down, then you die. It, it's over. But you have to choose. Oh, that's thunder. I thought it was a loud plane. It must be raining. Crap, what's it called? Uh, I'm like, I'm seeing it. I'm visualizing it. I can't remember the name of it, though. Uh, as long as we're here, this is what I got last night. Uh, VT got me this one for a pixel art game. It looks good. Yeah. VT got me this Crossroads Inn where you got to, like, manage an inn. For running an inn. Maybe it was on my wish list for a long time. Uh, I got this one. This one was 64 cents. I'm not exactly sure what it is yet. It's like a horror game. It might be like a puzzle game or just, I, I actually have no idea, but I figured for 64 cents, even if it sucks, it's fine. <laughs> and then I got another tomorrow. These were all on sale for like a couple bucks. This one, it says it's first person, but I think what happens is you have a level and you have to like find the clues and solve the puzzles and get out the door. And there's different levels. Uh, then I got, I, I broke down and got killer frequency. Rated T for teen. The one where you're a, a radio, Whistling like a talk show host. Creek. Heather's got this. And there is a serial killer going around that people are calling in and telling you about. Uh, I got Evil Nun, which was made by the guy that made Horror Tales The Wine. And he was supposed to have Horror Tales The Astronaut, but the release date came and went, and he never released the game. There's supposed to be another one, Horror Tales The Beggar, that comes out October 31st. This one's got overwhelmingly positive, so it's got to be pretty good. Uh, and then Contraband Police, which I played the demo for recently, and then Black Mirror, which is like a third person, kind of like a, an old Resident Evil. Whoops, not this one. This is not gameplay. This one? It's kind of like... 
a kind of fixed camera third person like this. Which reminded me, I still have to play Them and Us. <laughs> I still haven't played it. Oh, wait, did I put... um? What is this one? Yes, Your Grace Snowfall. In this new reality where monsters seem closer, enemies stronger, and your petitions, petitioners struggling more than ever, your duties... Wait, is this a... Oh, this is not out yet. I'm going to add these to my wish list. Uh, yes, Your Grace... Wish list. It's only six dollars. Man, then I want to look at the other games that they have out and see how those are. All right, I gotta stop. Thinking of getting Killer Frequency. I've been tinkering with my uh, retro handheld all day, along with working. It runs so smooth now, and the battery doesn't kill itself fast. Awesome. That thing's pretty cool. It's kind of like, it's kind of like a Game Boy, but not. Anyway, so I got. A bunch more games to put on top of the pile of games that I haven't gotten to yet. Weird, my uh, my chat is not showing badges. Anyway, uh, if you'd like to support the channel, avoid the ads, and you'd also be welcome to join my private satisfactory server. You can subscribe for five dollars, or you can subscribe for free with a Twitch Prime. Unless you think you're lucky. And you can get gifted a sub. I'm going to have to run the three-minute ad break now, which will shut off pre-roll ads for another hour. What happened? Yeah. Come check this out. Allison's first drafts. Right. Because I didn't contribute at all. Come on. I know you did. I can't believe she kept all these. Wow. The thunder You'd is think loud putting here. them on the fridge for a couple of weeks would have been enough. You know how we thought of ourselves as the goblins? Did you ever get the sense that maybe Marianne was the princess in the stories? Uh, yeah. She called her bedroom the princess's sanctum, and she was all alone in the woods in this house until we showed up. She was, alone, but with a few friends who helped her along the way. What are you doing? Research. So if Marianne was the princess, then who were all the rest? And here we go. Oh, come on, humor me. What, I wasn't, I was reading chat, I wasn't listening. Uh, I got well over a thousand games I need to finish or start at this point. At least I'll have it if one day I decide to play whatever. Yeah, I mean, I even if I don't get to streaming all of them, I will, as long as Steam and Epic don't go away, I'll have these games forever and I can get to them eventually. Um... I didn't hear what I'm supposed to do. So I got pelican, moose, and bear. The pelican helps her friends. Well, we read this one because the pelican had gave her the the jewel so she can see in dark. Pelican forgives the goblins. The moose teaches the goblins. Once upon a time, in a deep and ancient forest, the crafty goblins were hungry. This wasn't unusual. The goblins were always hungry, but today they were particularly hungry. They opened the wise princess's cupboards to look for a snack. 
So they're the kids. They're always hungry. They open the cupboard and there's no food in their, in their house in real life. But all she had was a small pile of nuts and berries and just one strip of dried fish. The goblins grabbed it all and gobbled it up, but they were still hungry. They went out into the woods to look for more to eat. First, they dropped by the small pond. The big frog was asleep, and beside the pond was a pile of insects she had caught for eating after she woke up. The goblins crept up to the pile, careful not to wake the big frog, and they got close. She ribbited loudly, and they froze, but the big frog kept sleeping. So they grabbed up the pile of insects and gobbled it up, but they were still hungry. So they went to another person's house, ate all their food. As they crept back into the woods, they found the stalwart moose watching them. Did you just steal the big frog's food? The goblins tried not to look guilty, but failed. She said we couldn't have the. She said we could have them. They cried. Oh, really? Asked the moose. Let's all ask her. Let's. Geez, let's ask her. So moose woke up big frog and asked, "Did you say the goblins could have your food?" The big frog looked at the goblins, who she knew were always hungry, and nodded. "Yes, I did." Really? Asked the moose. Surprised, frog nodded, and the moose sighed. All right then, he said, and he had to let the goblins go. Oh, I wonder if the moose is the sheriff. We'll have a nuclear holocaust, dinos will resurrect, aliens will invade, and zombies will happen before Steam and Epic or major storefronts disappear. That's the only thing I'm worried about. Like, what if Steam goes away? Like, I... Oh, now there's now there's car alarms going off from the thunder. So, I mean, I suppose they would do something like Bethesda, because I had a few games on the Bethesda launcher, and when that went away, uh, they had a way that I could transfer my Bethesda games to Steam. So, what am I supposed to be doing here? Oh, who's who? Tessa, Sam, and Eddie? You go here. Game makes too much money for to just stop all that. Like if something happened, you know, and they went out of business or I don't know. Okay, so we were thinking that the moose was Eddie because he had to ask the frog if if the frog said the goblins could have its food. And the frog said yes, so he had to let him go. So in that case, I'm thinking that Sam is the bear. And the pelican's Tessa. All right. I think I'm done. You sure? How do you like them apples? You know, I think you might be onto something. What about these guys? I don't see them being real life people or this one. These specific human attributes you have assigned to these forest animals are truly thought provoking. Indubitably. That's the Mad Hunter. Yep. Totally Marianne. Why a princess, though? Why not a queen? She hated authority. Yeah. She'd have been a terrible ruler. Only storefronts I see going away in the next 20 years would be EA or Ubisoft, and they would likely merge with another store. Yeah, maybe that would happen. They'd merge with another store. Um, well, yeah, Origin already, like, changed over to EA. 
there's GOG, which might not be around forever. You better hurry, or the Mad Hunter will catch us! We need to hide. This way. <gasps> what's... Uh-oh. What's going Watch on? Watch out. I... I don't know. Is he here? Is he really here? Uh, I'm scared. Go away! Yeah! Go back to the forest! I forgot about that. We'd been pretending he was there. And then... Suddenly he was. That was the only time that happened, right? He looked right at them. Allison. Wait. It felt way too real. It was... Us. Pushing our imagination way too far. Uh, Great. Hello? Sam Kansky, Grandmaster of Bad Timing. We're not done with this conversation. Morning, Sam. Well, hi, goblins. I ran into Chief Brown, who said you were starting to clean up on the house this morning, so, uh... I kind of figured you might need some supplies. That's... Thank you. That was very thoughtful. So listen, I, uh... I wanted to apologize for scaring you yesterday. You didn't. Your shotgun did. <laughs> yeah, uh... Well, I, uh... Anyway, I also came by to say I fired up the Google and I, uh... I did some reading. I didn't know the difference between all those words. I mean, I, you know, never been much of a reader. Huh? But I think I get why what I said was wrong, and I'm real sorry. Oh, and before I forget, for the lady of the house. It was your mom's Fish. favorite recipe. Still make it darn near every week. Think of her every time. Uh, thanks. But we don't have a stove. Still no electricity. Oh, yeah. The fuse box is busted. <laughs> Just another thing I've been meaning to put back together around here. Where is it? I can take care of it. Oh, I don't doubt you can. But, uh... I've been kicking this thing back to life for the last 20-some years. I'll give you a hand. All right. Box is in the barn. Follow me. We'll be right behind you. Don't have any electricity? We're going to put that fish. POG, Epic, Amazon, Steam, and Blizzard secured their spots. So very unlikely they'll go... We see Nintendo going out of business and shutting down that the next apology years. apology was something. Come on, we need lights. So be nice to the helpful man. We're kind of Nintendo over their ridiculous copyright strikes and then going after emulation software. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> also, I don't. Nintendo's keeps making games like. They just keep making new Mario games, you know? I don't know. I think they should step it up a little bit. I'm making footprints. Hell yeah. Nintendo themselves want to emulate them and people have literally big Nintendo well like we have you can get like a lot of classic Nintendo games on like the Nintendo store like for Switch and then we have one of those it's like a tiny Nintendo and a, a tiny old one and it has a whole bunch of old games like Mario, Donkey Kong a bunch of stuff I haven't heard of it's like you can get a bunch of them, but you can't play them on PC. So, 
Um, how's school? I graduated already. Outdoor studies. Oh, outdoor studies, huh? Well, it's a good thing I came along when I did. You know, I built this here barn for your mama. You really helped her out, huh? Now, oh, you know, just a few chores here and there. I was, I was glad to help. You know, build Your a mother, barn. She... No. I can never bring myself to leave her high and dry. Anyways, let me find that darn key. Wait. Wait, Sam. You have more of our keys? Yeah. The one for the barn's called a railroad key. See, it's got this special tip that you can... Fascinating. I'll take that off your hands now. Well, I, uh... Figured I might still need to do some maintenance, so, uh... Nope. We're good. Thank you. Uh, fair warning. Door's a bit temperamental. <clears throat> Haven't you been taking care of this place? <sighs> you didn't oil the doors? What? You think I just hang out here all day or something? Here, son, give me a try. Good. Okay, when you twist it as far as you can to the left, give it a nice little... <clears throat> Damn it. No oh, shit. Now look what you did. Hey, is there a car in here? Well, at least the door is open now. <coughs> yeah. Easy enough to fix. Now, that fuse box. Oh, no, no, no. You? All right. Fuses go into plugs. Should be easy enough. Okay. Marianne, I wrapped up your electrical board. I gotta run, but in case you want to check it out, careful not to overload the circuits. You'll have to use 15 amp fuses look. for the garage. We'll the whole Amps total up to 120 <laughs> for the whole house. Could refinish the whole thing, but Sam, pretty proud of myself for once I've respected the right color coding. Each fuse should have the right color cables. Okay. So behind my head here, we've got fuses. Um, <clears throat> and yeah, I have to sure. use 15 amp fuses for the garage. Shit. 120 oh. total. What happened? You okay? Uh, yeah, it's just a, just, just a bum knee. I uh, wrecked it playing ball. Ball? Football? In college? High school. Best okay, so six is around. the garage. Well, till, till I got hurt. Yeah, that's rough. So that already has one. And it says 15, okay. But it doesn't say what? Problem must be the latch. No shit. I got 30, 20, and 15. Nothing a little salt and lime can fix. Salt and lime? It's a door latch, not a bottle of Dryer, water heater, kitchen. So I would guess the dryer and water heater would probably take a 30 and also the generator. Let's try this one. So that's 75. Here, hold this. I want to get a look at the spindle. Shouldn't we so we got 45 left. Put it back together. I just want to check something. Hey, uh... No, that's not going to be right. Bear insurance? What for? You and your gun are always around. Oh, Kitchen, always. probably a 20. Smart-ass remarks, you know? We're not getting a gun, Sam. Okay, so I got too much now. Mold everywhere. 
90, no nose in there. 110, 125. The so that Probably one no is so no like water heater, washer, and dryer. Huh? Hey now, watch yourself. We just need to clean it with turpentine, right? And borax? Mm-hmm. 30, 50, 70, I usually air out 115. Lindsay? Well, hell no. That stuff's a hatchery for mold. Teak is what you want. Tell me why again? How come? I don't know. I don't know why it doesn't say what fuse is supposed to be in here. 60, 80, 95, 100, yeah, well, you're not the only person. 110. So I'm still going to be five over. Pretty much took an army to keep this place standing. All right, 20, 40, 55, 60, 70, 85, huh. Don't budge. 100, and then this should take a 20, the nope. and then that'll be 120. We'll pick some up at the Beckys. Anyways, see how we Wait, that's not right. You sure you don't need a hand? Hey, I'm moving at my own pace. I need to know this stuff. All right. Women, huh? Don't do that, Sam. Uh, did you read the note? Because it's a good Lots. game, that's why. So I'm guessing these two blue, so they're not high enough. Lights could probably be lower. So I'm gonna go 15. Um, this is a 15, so we'll try to put a 20. And then this one's a 20, so we'll step it up to 30. So now we got 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 130. We got 10 too much. So let's put a 20 in here instead of a 30. Last year I was, it was free this month. I think it is now too. Oh, Diego, what's going on? I didn't even notice it was you because your name is the same color. How you doing, man? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think it's free this month now too. Just the first Seems episode. Good. I did it. Dude, we played, um, there's a new Amnesia, Amnesia the Bunker that just came out a couple days ago. We played the demo last night and it was, it was stressful, man. Like for real, you got to keep, when you put gas in the generator, it only runs for a certain amount of time and then the lights go out and you got to find more gas. Uh, and your only flashlight is like, you got to pull the string to charge it up and it makes a whole bunch of noise. So either like you're in the dark and you can't see, or you have to risk making noise. It's, it's $25. I'm, I'm debating on if I should get it or wait for it to go on sale. Long time. No see been a hot minute. Yeah, it's been a while. How you been? Oh, that's the shotgun she was pointing at Tyler. You damn fool. He gave her the gun, probably. Everything okay? You, uh, you two look like you got this all in hand, so, um. I think he was in love with their mom. So if the stream suddenly shuts off, it means my power went out because it's thundering pretty loud out there. Yeah. So wait, have you played Outlast Trials? Starting to think you forgot about us. Never ever. <laughs> have you played Outlast Trials? Because I played the demo uh, a long time ago, and if if people here, if you guys would get it. I would buy it so that we could play it together. So if people want to play it together, I'll get it. 
but I'm not going to get it to play it on my own because it's the multiplayer thing, right? There's no, there's no single player mode, like single player story mode, like the old ones, older ones. Preda rep. What's that? Wolf pee. Ew, what? Do not spill it on your shoes. What do you say it was? I sense a story. Well, if by story you mean using it at fireweed to get rid of some rats, and then spilling it on my only pair of shoes, then yes. <laughs> hey, it was not funny. Sure thing, B-boy. Played early demo, was not impressed. Yeah, that's probably the same one I played. Love the single player campaign. I don't know, man. When I first saw Outlast Trials, I was like, oh man, yes, this is going to be awesome. And then after I learned it was the multiplayer thing like that, I was sad. I was like, why? I, I don't know. I mean, I'm sure it would be fun to play with people, but my whole, my whole most of my life, I haven't played with people because the internet, you know, wasn't good enough. Like when I was growing up, like online multiplayer wasn't really much of a thing. So I played mostly, you know, single player or like a two player game with somebody sitting on the couch next to me. Um, so I was kind of sad. I would, I would have really rather had a single player. Like they could have that too. They could have also the multiplayer but they should have made a single player story. I'm going to play it, but I need to save money. Can't afford 40 to $80 game. Oh yeah. Say for Capcom and Ubisoft showcase. Yeah. I, I watched the one today. So I'm going to get Alan Wake in October when it comes out. Um, didn't have friends to play with. Well, like I grew up until I was 20. I lived on a farm outside of any any town so like there wasn't anybody close by um that was back in like you know late 90s early 2000s so there was internet but it wasn't you couldn't connect it to a playstation one you know um playstation two you could but it still wasn't very good and then so the first one that i actually like used the internet was like PlayStation 3. Separate Ways DLC? Oh, wait. Wait, which one is that? Uh, separate... Wait. Separate ways? My issue with Diablo 4, love the game, no one to play with, get burned out fast. Wait, why is it not here? Oh, Resident Evil 4? Oh, I didn't wait. That's not out that they didn't show that yet. Right. That's for the Capcom thing. Oh, cool. Hell yeah. They will announce it. Ada's campaign. Oh man, that's going to be awesome with this remake. They did announce uh final fantasy seven remake part two. Oh, look at this. I think this is where she made all our toys. Toilet paper tubes, rope, cardboard. She was so crafty. And she could draw and write and take pictures. Oh, she, she could have been that. an artist instead of just locking herself up out here. She carved that out of a log. Played RE7 fun. again. Playing Red Dead 2 again. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. 
If we end up living together, you should know my house has a no spiders rule. Well, in my house, we don't kill them. Ugh. You can take them outside then. Um, we played Red Dead 2 online once or twice. Me and Clockwork and Zalen. Uh, I was just thinking about that the other night. I'd like to do that again. That was fun. So, a lot of the games that were in that showcase were just like... They all kind of looked the same. It's not like they were super amazing. But, I mean, not like they were bad, but not like, oh, man. It was just kind of like, okay. Found Marianne's stash. Blueberry, blueberry, salmonberry. Huh. Salmonberry? Birch and fireweed? Ooh, what's this one? Bet it Pickles? tastes like restricted freedom and 9 p.m. lights out. Those have definitely gone bad. As far as I'm concerned, they always were. You finished The Last of Us on PC? What a story. Yeah, I'm planning on... Uh, I want to play it, but it's just going to take so long. I started it, like, right when it first came out. I started playing it, but I had so many problems with it that I never played it again, but I was planning on playing it when I got done with this game. Want part two? Yeah. Part two is only uh, PS4 and probably five. Does canned food really expire? I mean, it's airtight, right? Uh, not going to be the one to test that out. And I streamed it from the PS4 when it came out. The quality, streaming straight out of the PS4, the quality of the video is so bad. Oh man, I'm going to put now the game the fixed. sweetest toolbox ever. Yeah, I heard they fixed it. So I want to give it a try when I get done with this game. What are we going to do with this rack? Take it apart and sell the scrap. Be my guest. But it sure looks like a pile of junk to me. Where you see junk, I see dollars. Hey, look, there's a hatch up there. What else do we got? Allison, do you know who this is? What did you find? Do you know who that is? Uh, yeah. That's Carol, Eddie's mom. I've seen other pictures of her, but never this one. Man, look at Brown. And Marianne. She looks really happy. Can I? Careful, the glass is Ow! broken. Are you okay? It stings. Let's go see mom. But she'll get mad. We weren't even supposed to be here. Dude, this would freak me out so much. <laughs> Follow the memory. Come on, it's gonna get infected. To. She said not to disturb her and Eddie. Her and Eddie? Where are you going? Things were different when she was around. We were oh. family, Eddie. How could you do this to me? Shh. Look. I had to make that call. What were they talking about? I can't figure out what's going on. I don't know, but... I remember that whatever Eddie had to do, whatever that call was about, it was tearing him up. Tearing him up? He was being a total cop, and Marianne got pissed and threw him out. Here, I'm gonna show you what I remember. There, by the house. Thoughts on Assassin's Creed Mirage? I haven't seen anything on it. I, I think I, anytime they showcase it at a, you know, a sh showcase event, I, I've always missed it. I need to look up some trailers or gameplay trailers or something. I heard it's going to be a live service game, though, and that I don't love. But maybe if they do it right, it won't be too bad. 
I want to play it. I had to make that call. I was just following the law. Oh, yeah? And this little visit right here? What would the law say about this, huh? Look, I didn't have to come out here, but I did. You're a goddamn hypocrite. Get out of here! Marianne. <sighs> I said get out! Out! <laughs> what? She didn't throw the picture at him. You sure about that? He was being a complete dick. How can you be sure? We were eavesdropping. We could barely see a thing. What do you think happened then? Did you uncover the car? It it didn't give me the choice to at the moment. Maybe I do it later. Live service, like... Um, I'm trying to think of another game. Uh, crap. Where... Hmm... Live service game. Live service games, also known as live ops games or games as a service, are games that are continually updated with new content features and events to keep players engaged and coming back for more. While there are many benefits to live service games, there are also downsides that need to be considered. Um, crap. I'm trying to think of one that was so like. The only thing I can think of at the moment to compare it to is like Fortnite where they keep adding stuff and they keep changing the map and stuff like that, but they have to keep up with it, keep doing it like forever. Um, and then if the servers go away, then you can't play the game anymore. The crew. Okay. That might be a good one. Online, it's online all the time. Red Dead 2, yeah, I suppose something like that. Shared world, random people all the time. It kicks you out if you don't have connection. Yeah, like you can't just play it on your computer by yourself, you have to be connected to the internet to play the game. What outlaw? You can interact like GTA online. I I just heard that that's what it is. I I haven't looked into it at all. So I mean, if they're changing it into that, I hope they do it. I hope they do it good. Yeah, it, not like G, like GTA online, but GTA you can play the single player. You know, not connected to the internet, you just can't play GTA online. I, I don't know if they're doing it 100% online or if there's still going to be like a single player part to it. I'll have to, I'll have to look into it. I haven't seen any trailers or anything either. I need to look, look at, see if I can find some. <laughs> yeah. So that's just something I heard a while ago. I'll have to learn more about it because I definitely want to play it. Like, I've always loved Assassin's Creed games, except Origins, and I never really got into Odyssey. But I liked Valhalla a lot. I streamed, like, all the DLC for that. I played that. I streamed it for, like, 170 hours. Look. I had to make that call. I was following procedure. What I'm legally required to do. Then why are you here? Pretty sure this isn't procedure. I wanted you to hear it from me. Please leave. Mary Ann. I'm sorry. Please just go. How do we keep remembering the same thing so differently? It was a long time ago, and well, memory's a tricky thing. Wait, when did that happen? I, I'm not sure. I, I think it was the exact same day she attacked you. That's what I thought. But Uncle Eddie said he hadn't seen Marianne for weeks. Yeah, that was bullshit. And what was all that about following law? What was he doing here exactly?
He must have had his reasons for not telling us. Look, I know he took care of you, but that doesn't make him incapable of lying. I can't see him being that cold with Marianne, even if he was being a cop. I mean, I can, but who knows? I guess memory's a tricky thing, huh? I gotta choose which one I think it, it is. What is wrong with people? They think single player campaigns are obsolete. And they did that with, uh, well, yeah, Outlast Trials. Um, I heard they did it with uh, one of the Call of Duties. I don't remember which one. Ubisoft Plus is free for a week. Time to go and complete the final chapter of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. What's what's Ubisoft Plus? Is it like 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 Game Pass? Kinda. I didn't even know that that was a thing. Uh, choose Allison's memory. Marianne was sad. Choose Allison's memory. Marianne was angry. I think she was sad. Get out. I know you were just doing your job, but I need you to go before you get in trouble. Please, just get out of here. All right. Say Brown really uh, felt bad about he whatever like he came out to tell her. It was still the day she attacked us. He still lied. Now what? We go and get a straight answer from him. Right now? Yes. I'll go get my car keys. But what will these mountains of trash do without us? Fuck the trash. Last year was free for a month. Yeah, I didn't even know they had that. Oh, my camera's still down. Man, I can't believe Brown lied. I mean, I may not be the guy's biggest fan, but he's always talking about the truth and the law and shit. Do you have to be so happy about it? What? I know you've been waiting for something like this. Something that proves Eddie's an asshole. But gloating about it is really not cool. Mm. Oh, it's Tina. I gotta take this. Yeah, j just a sec. I'm parking the car. Hmm, I guess we're not going to the police station in this one. I thought this is where we break into the police station. Guess I'll just go stretch my legs then. See, this is the third no. time... Just give me a sec. The third time she didn't want to talk on the phone with him there. Okay, Tina. What's going on? Hi, hon. I've got someone who is super interested in seeing the house. Oh, that's amazing. Uh, when? They're just in the area for a couple of days, so they'd like to come by day after tomorrow. Oh, uh, uh, I'm not sure it'll be ready. Hun, this guy is very motivated, but I know he's looking at other properties. It's not like you've had people breaking down the door. I appreciate that, but we've kind of got a lot going on over here. Did I mention it would be an all-cash offer? Ooh. It's, it's not the right time. A cash offer, Allison. I'm sorry, but it'll be a total mess. I don't want to waste anyone's time. Okay. Well, you tell me when you're ready. Huh. Well, I think I just made Tina's shit list. Hey, Malik, what's going on? Ooh, waterfall. <coughs> well, we're just playing, talking about um, games coming up. I bought a bunch of games last night on sale. Uh, we got, I got even more games to get to that I don't have time to get to. <laughs> Bear? Bear encounters are frequent during Salmon Run, May to October. Exercise the stream caution along the rivers. Do not feed the bears. Keep all food properly stowed and contained. Stay alert. Learn to spot fish and game carcasses. Make noise while hiking. Bears don't like surprises. Never hike alone. Always carry pepper spray when hiking. 
case of account encounter, do not run, stand your ground, wave your arms, talk loudly. Do not climb trees or poles. Bears are extremely efficient climbers. In case of violent attack, fight back vigorously. Yeah, right. Uh, I already, I already showed all the ones I got twice now. But I got killer frequency. Uh, I don't know. I got like, I got like four or five. <laughs> When's the summer sale on Steam? I don't know. It's got to be coming up soon. D and I did that trail a couple years ago. We drank ice cold beers when we reached the summit. Whose votes are you looking to win out here, Tom? The bears? But I got some good ones. Oh. Did you see that escape room game I put in the Discord? It's like $3 until the 12th. If we can get some people together, it's a competitive escape room. We don't work together. We're like trying to escape first. Whoever escapes first wins. The artist really nailed this one. Dorian Key. Kind of rings a bell. Dorian Key. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> well, the only reason I could get through the, like, escape memoirs is because I had you guys. Like, there was some that I didn't understand at all that Clockwork could get. Um, there was some that he didn't get that I got. There was the one that I tried in the mansion one, and then official came in and finished it. Like the only reason we got through that is because we all worked together. I, I don't know if I could get through that by myself. God, I'd love to be able to make something like this. Also, I got the Da Vinci, House of Da Vinci. And um, I tried doing it on stream a few months ago and I got stuck and I could not get anywhere. What, what I want to do is I want to play like House Da Vinci and have people in chat help me figure out what to do. If, if that sounds like something to be fun to do sometime. We also got Battle Block that we could play this weekend too. That'll be fun. I need to see if I can get a controller to work on my computer because my PlayStation controllers haven't been working and the Steam controller kind of sucks. Looks like you found a nice spot. We've been here before, Look right? at that. I feel like I've been here before. You've been here before? So, Tina? Tina West, our realtor. Oh, that Tina. What'd she need? She had someone who wanted to see the house, but he could only come by day after tomorrow. And you told her no? Yeah. We need more time than that you know, to get things cleaned up and, you know. Thanks. <laughs> but what if it's the only call we get? Then I guess we just scroll and lose our minds in that fucking house. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. So, before Tina called, we were talking? Yeah. I'm not happy your foster father fucked up. Oh yeah? Because you sure sounded he like it. He hid information about Marianne. I know! You just don't have to rub it in! I get it. You're always gonna side with him over me. Come on, that's not fair. Then why do you keep doing it? This town, these people, they're just memories to you. But it's my home, Tyler. My friends, my family. And as much as I want answers, I'd rather not lay waste to my entire life to get them. That escalated quickly. I didn't come here to ruin your life, Allison. I just want some answers. I know. That's why we're doing all this, right? Eddie warned me about this? Hometown looks pretty picturesque from here, doesn't it? You're way more attached to this place than you let on. About the house still, you still want to live in the wild? Is 
So, you really want to live somewhere super secluded like this? Alone in a cave? Speaking for the trees? Hell yeah. Is it really that hard to imagine? Didn't know you were a loner. I just don't think of you as a loner. You and I always did everything together. <laughs> well, you're way less terrible than other people. It's snowing. I can't move. Friend's birthday is Saturday. I might get that bitch a game. And he turns 18. Going to say something gay to him. I sold my motherboard waiting on the money. How are you going to play without a motherboard? 22nd or something. You feeling that tight? Yeah. Old motherboard. Okay. Okay, now you're the star, and I'm the compass. Okay, and don't cheat. I know you were sending me fake hints last time. I did not. Yes, you did. Okay, okay, I won't do it again. <laughs> you were always accusing me of cheating. Because you totally did. It was a cool game. Guessing where you were just by feeling what you felt. You hear about the influencer who hates trans people because he's sexually attracted to them? His logic is how dare those trans people be so sexy? Is his name Ben Shapiro? <laughs> or Alex Jones? He's right about one thing. How dare those trans people be so damn sexy? <laughs> We look like little freaks. No one else could play with us. No one else could play it with us. That was the beauty of it. For real? You never wanted any other friends? Nah, not really. I mean, we had each other. That was enough for me. So, not too disappointed I turned down our chance to be billionaires? Nah, all that money would have made me soft. And I've spent way too many years polishing my edgy side. You were right to call me out earlier. I was being a jerk about Eddie. I'm all for enjoying the wins as they come. But maybe not at the expense of my father figure? I'll try my best. So, I have to warn you. I'm not sure we're getting any answers out of Eddie. You won't have a choice. We're not 10 years old anymore. He tries to protect me from everything. Occupational hazard. He was always so worried about how I was left out at school, so he'd make me throw these huge birthday parties and invite everyone. And they'd all have to show up because you were the chief's daughter? Bingo. But then they didn't actually talk to me. So, I felt like a stranger in my own house. I know the feeling. People come here from thousands of miles away to look at that glacier. And we get to see it from our deck. Hey, you should remember that sales pitch for when we have another buyer. Look at that. Coastal fog's taken over the summit. Hmm. It's a perfect day for a spooky hike in the woods. Maybe it'd be a good way to chill Whoa, out. Whoa, there's just a really bright lightning outside. I can't believe the old cannery is still in business. Plenty more fish in the sea. For now. Oh, ho, ho. The microphone picked that one up. Posted a video. I can't one? believe the old cannery is oh. still in business. Posted a video of him in Discord the other day. I don't think I saw it. I'm gonna try my best to do water fast tomorrow. Wait, not drink water all day? Oh, wait. Only drink water. That makes more sense. Do it the whole weekend? Just waiting for something to explode. I'm waiting for it, like me to see the flash and the internet and everything go out. I got a battery backup. 
but one of these, either the TV or my monitor are not on it. I think it's this monitor. I don't remember. But yeah, the battery backup will at least let me shut the computer down, but the stream will be gone. Plenty more fish in the sea for now. Ryan Foley? Is it how far back is it? Is it in the uh Canada wildfire starts? Also Canada. So this is what California is like. Is it in videos? Yeah, you guys have been talking a lot in here, and I can't. Oh, yeah. No, I did, I did see this one. Yeah, you guys have been talking a lot in the Discord, and I, I can't keep up with it all while I'm working. Let's see what this guy says. I'm sure it's going to be. Oh, it's 13 minutes? Damn it. We're not doing it tonight, bro. It's not gonna leave you feeling satisfied. I've jerked off and I've gone back to that crap. And it makes me feel like garbage. It makes me empty. The devil's trying to hinder us with sexual immorality. The devil's not gonna win. The devil hates me. He hates you. He doesn't like these videos. He doesn't like you. He wants you to give in to sexual immorality. Do not do it. Women get turned on, but men think about war. <laughs> So Hassan Piker's evil doppelganger there, uh, his name is Ryan Foley, <laughs> happens to be a Christian influencer, and he loves to post TikToks about his you know, Christian identity, no problem with that. It becomes a problem when he blames all his issues on the transgender community. In fact, he admits that he used to watch all sorts of weird porn and even harass underage girls, but he says he's a changed man now. Let's watch. When I was 18 years old. So when I saw the picture in the Discord, the thumbnail, I thought it was Aiden Ross. He's always like this. I had a Snapchat that I Snapchatted younger girls on because I got off to flirting with younger girls in a sexual way. Shortly after that, I began watching and going on a grinder to hook up with transgenders because I got off to these things. I hired prostitutes that were transgenders. I had sex with many women. I used to watch murder porn. Oh, and when I was having oh this is this guy. Yeah. No, the H3 podcast that I watch, watch this. And they're trying to get a hold of this guy to, to be a guest on the podcast, to interview him at least. So that was from the one from Monday. So if he responds to them and wants to do it, it's possible they might have him on like next week. I used to watch murder porn, he says. I hired prostitutes that were transgenders. I had sex with many women. I used to watch murder porn. And when I was having sex with my wife, who I falsely married ourselves to justify sex, because I had watched pornography of strangulation and murder, I used to, in my mind, close my eyes and think about killing her while I was having sex with her and get off to these things. I tell you these things because time is running out and I don't care if I'm perceived as a pedophile, homosexual, murderer. If it helps you understand that anyone can come to God. Oh, my God. It, it did help me understand. No. Wow, that was a lot. Um, now, it turns out that while he claims to be a changed man in the strangest way possible, by the way, like that was a very fascinating delivery, to say the least. It was a lot. <laughs> yeah. They want him to debate the master debater, Hassan. It did help me understand. <laughs> uh, murder porn. Here, let's watch this. This one. He trashes these communities, but then it turns out he gets caught, right? <laughs> so apparently he was outed by an OnlyFans creator as being one of their paying customers. Let's watch. For years upon years, I was watching transgender porn, femboy porn, all that. Yes, you were, Ryan, and thank you. Thank you for the 10 whole dollars that you gave me. 
Look, I'm not surprised. Like, th this comes up ever so often. Some of the most loud, animated, anti-LGBTQ people end up either being gay themselves or transgender themselves, or in this case, attract attracted to uh, femboys. Again, Again, just like Ben Shapiro and Alex Jones. No one can come to God. Who is paying for porn? Right? I, I don't quite understand that. When you can get everything for free. Yeah, so they're trying to get that guy on the podcast, so if they end up getting him, I'll, I'll hear it. <clears throat> so it was between him and this guy, <clears throat> this guy that was a moderator for a female Twitch streamer. And when he met her at a convention and hugged her, he jizzed in his pants. And this also happened to him another time. So they were going to either try to get him or the mur murder porn guy. And they put polls up in the chat and they decided on the mur murder porn guy. Man's forgot if there is an OnlyFans, I bet. If there's an OnlyFans, I bet money on it. It's been leaked at well, yeah, one point. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> like, I looked up, uh, like, Markiplier's because they're not, they're not full nudes, you know tasteful nudes are we just leaving it's over here where are you going over here hey look what I found Aha! I knew it was still here. Ollie and Allison. I knew we'd been here before. They claimed it as part of the Ronin Kingdom. And it still is. All it needs is a little update. What are you doing? What I wanted to do back then, but I didn't have the guts. Yeah, so he's saying he knew he was trans back when they were there, little. Looking better already. You're right. Way better. But he changed the O to a T. Yep. From Ollie to Tyler. Well, it looks like we just got an auto save. Oh, here's where we're at the police department. Can we get a cliffhanger so, here? What's the plan? We go inside and calmly ask Eddie why he was there that day. All right. Let's try to let him get his side of the story out. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. I understand, Mr. Barrow. I'll be sure to let him know. Yes, I have it all written down. Have a good day, Mr. Barrow. Morning, Missy. How do you get stuck <laughs> working reception? Rose called in sick this morning. I'm covering for her while I try to get my paperwork done. What are you doing here? Just checking in with Uncle Eddie. I'm guessing from the identical features that this is Tyler? Tyler, Denise, Denise, Tyler. Wilson, could you tell Officer Vincenzi that I'll be... Oh, good morning, Allison. Hi, Uncle. I'm going to take Dr. Torres' statement. No need for Vincenzi to come back to the station. He doesn't seem like he's in the best of moods. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, but he's been a little off all day. Good luck. But Ryan wouldn't be able to play this game without Great. a hard on. <laughs> he has an excuse to brush us off. I'm sure he'll make time if we say it's important. All right. Well, Hello, maybe it's at the Hello, end of this. Adult. 
Maybe it's at the end of this uh, chapter. <laughs> it's funny. She walked in there and someone said, hi, young lady. And she's like, hi, middle-aged adult. <laughs> um, discuss the night of the murder with Eddie. So that's what we're getting into next. Um, I know that they break into the police station at some point. So, well, maybe it's if you don't. Yeah. So as you can imagine, he doesn't say everything, and then we have to break in. I don't remember exactly, but we just passed the two-hour mark, and I did get started late, so I still went two hours, and it's coming up on 1030. So I got to get to bed. So tomorrow, actually, before I get done here, since uh, Malik's here now, uh, I can show you, I can show Malik the, the games I got since uh, I showed you guys probably twice already. So VT got me this one. It's like you run a, you run an inn and inside yeah. the inn, there's a tavern. The guests would drink. Uh, I think there might be a brothel. There was a murder there. And then there's also a bathhouse. We got animals outside. So this one's just basically like, yeah, there's a bathhouse. Basically like running a tavern. VT got this one for me. Uh, and then, so I got DK. This one was literally 64 cents. And it's some type of horror game, but I don't actually understand what it is. Because I don't see any like walking around or anything. But for 64 cents, I don't know how you could really go wrong. It would be easier to give up. Anyway, so we'll check that one out sometime. Uh, I got this one, which is, I think it's like a horror. I think it's like a, a puzzle kind of like an escape room game where you get a map like this and you have to solve the puzzles to get out the door. And there's that one, there's that one, more puzzles. So it's more like a puzzle game. It was on sale for a couple, three bucks. So I got killer frequency. I finally broke down and got it. It's been on sale for a while and I see it every day. This is the one where you're the radio uh, talk show host. And there's a serial killer out there and people keep calling in and talking about, you know, being attacked. Then I got the evil nun, which was made by the guy that made horror stories, the wine. And he's got horror stories, the beggar coming out on Halloween. Oh, here we go. Here's a good spot to watch. Uh oh. We will spend the day playing and having fun without forgetting to pray at night. Come. In horror stories, the wine was good. <laughs> so, this one's got overwhelmingly positive reviews, so. I figured I'd better try it. Hey, King of Sparrows. Um, Gene. <laughs> Evil Nun, I have memories from playing that in mobile. This is a, like a new, this is like a new one that uh, the developer of uh, Horror Stories The Wine made. It's in early access. Does it show his other ones here? Anyway. It's got overwhelmingly positive, so I thought I should get it. Uh, Contraband Police, Black Mirror. This is like a, kind of like a fixed camera. Crap, I do this every time. It's like a third person kind of fixed camera. Welcome. To kind of like old school Resident Evil, dead. like that. Shameful what they did to him. What do you mean? Which reminded me that I have Them and Us that I haven't played yet. 
Can't believe it's now on PC. I honestly want to see Contraband Police. Yeah, I played a demo for it. So I'll get to it. So, but I think the, the plan for the start of the stream tomorrow is this one. It's episode three of Lost Alone. I played the first two already. Which is just like the other two. It's just different, different map, different type of story. Anyway, and then after this one, there's one more of these games, too. Whoops. So we got lots to do. Oh, man, I also got this one. VT got me this, Pure Farming. It's kind of like a farming simulator. I want to try that sometime. Ugh. And then here's the last Lost Alone Ultimate. There's just too much, and I keep buying more games like an idiot. <laughs> All right, so yeah, since I got started late, I made sure to hit at least two hours. We're two hours and 10 minutes. It's about 10.30. Uh, I'm actually a little bit tired, so I need to get to bed so that I'll be ready for long stream tomorrow. Um, actually, wait, let me look at my calendar real quick. Tomorrow, oh, there's nothing, okay. So, Tomorrow, it is possible that I get started a little bit early because sometimes that happens Friday and Saturday. Um, but I'm going to play Lost Alone Episode 3 Granny first. And then we can figure out what we want to do. Ooh, Sandrock, full launch September 26th. We can figure out what we want to do after that. Um, and we can play... What is this? Why is this in my finished? What? I never played this. Did I? I never played this. I don't even recognize the name. Oh, it's free. Oh, this is a free game. I wonder how it got in my... In my finished category, I didn't even know. I must have seen that one, and then just hit add to uh, add to library. So here's horror stories: the wine. I played this one a while back. So this is who made the evil nun game. It was pretty good. Uh, oh yeah, tomorrow's Friday. I might have Sunday off, then I work Monday, and then I'm off till the following Monday. Holy crap. Yeah, so think about uh, what we want to do tomorrow. Uh, it's been a while since we played uh, Valheim, um, but we don't have to. Uh, me and Malik could play probably Battle Block Theater. That'll be funny. Um, we can do whatever. So whatever you guys want to do, as soon as I finish uh, Lost Alone, we can do whatever. So I'm going to head off to bed. Thanks so much for coming to hang out with me tonight. I really do appreciate it. If you enjoyed the stream, make sure you follow if you haven't already. Turn on notifications. And if you'd like to support the channel, avoid the ads. And you'd also be welcome to join my private satisfactory server and come play with us. You can subscribe for $5 or you can subscribe for free with the Twitch Prime. Otherwise, you got to be lucky and get gifted a sub. If you do that, make sure you click the Discord link in the Twitch chat or in any of my YouTube videos. Message me on there. I'll get you the server information, and we'll schedule time to get on and play with you. All right, so yeah, tomorrow, normal time, possibly a bit early, 30 minutes to an hour early, maybe, if I'm lucky. And uh, it's long stream night. We go till at least 2 a.m. So, All right, have a good night, everybody, and I will talk to you all tomorrow. Later, guys.